Here is your latest Africa news. The Iranian president, Ebrahim Raisi, has visited Uganda as part of a diplomatic push to break the country's isolation. The Iranian leader received a red carpet welcome from his Ugandan counterpart, President Yoweri Museveni, as he continued his three-country mission of Africa that Tehran has touted as a new beginning in relations with the continent. In his speech, Raisi criticized Western nations accusing them of promoting homosexuality as a way for population control. Having the culture of establishing and forming a family and at the same time the culture of genuineness is another common point between Iran and Uganda. We pay great attention to the issue of establishing families and we believe that it is a fundamental principle. The West is today trying to promote the idea of homosexuality and of course by homosexuality they are trying to end the generation of human beings and at the same time they are acting against the inherence and the nature of human beings. I believe that this issue and these strong attacks by the West against the establishment of families and against the culture of the nations is another area of cooperation for Iran and Uganda. Raisi's trip to Africa, which will also take him to Zimbabwe, is the first by an Iranian president in more than a decade and represents a bid to diversify economic ties in the face of illegal U.S. sanctions. This visit by President Raisi is particularly noteworthy as it marks the first time an Iranian president has traveled to Africa in over a decade. The tour encompasses not only Kenya, but also Uganda and Zimbabwe, underscoring Iran's commitment to expanding its partnerships and collaborations in the region. Iran's endeavor to garner diplomatic support reflects its earnest efforts to alleviate international isolation. Ahead of the tour, Nasser Kanani, the spokesperson for the Iranian Foreign Ministry, expressed optimism that this three-day visit to Africa would serve as a catalyst to reinforce economic and trade ties with African nations. Kanani highlighted the shared, common political views between Tehran and the African continent, fostering a promising environment for collaboration. In an ever-growing multipolar world, Iran's trade with African countries is expected to surpass $2 billion this year, exemplifying the increasing significance of their partnerships. As the tour progresses, we anticipate further developments in the strengthening of relations between Iran and Africa, opening new avenues for cooperation and mutual prosperity. Let us know in the comments below if you found this video informative. Please show your support by liking and sharing this video for the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive updates on our latest videos. And always remember, Africa is watching.